All right, we're uh, back working on the Jeep again today. So the goal today is to get all the wires separated and kind of sectioned off so we know where they go to and then uh, get the main uh, box out. So last time we got the fridge and the drawers and the shelf off. Um, and so we've got quite a bit of disconnection to go because all of this stuff needs to kind of come apart. And um, we've got all the main wires disconnected from the battery, so we have no power coming in. But there's a lot of this that needs to uh, get taken care of, so that's gonna be the goal today. All right, I think the first thing we're gonna do is start separating what's what. So that's gonna require us just to cut all the zip ties that we so carefully put in place. And then we'll get all the circuits separated. I spent a lot of work trying to get this so it was nice and neat and tidy so that Everything stayed where it needed to stay. And I think it worked for yeah, what we were trying to accomplish. So we didn't have any rubbing or chafing issues with any of the wires. So everything stayed where it was supposed to. And so I call that a success. And the beauty of this kind of stuff is since I did all of this, I basically know where everything goes. So I know all the pieces and parts and how the wires go together. So it makes it simple to kind of take it apart because I know what goes where because I am the one that put it together. All these components are, for the most part, are blue seed components because they in my opinion, are the best in the business. You can certainly spend less money, but I prefer stuff that I know is gonna last. This is built for the marine industry. And it's just my preference. So just kind of where we're at right now, we're going to reuse almost all of this stuff. Um, it'll just be uh, reconfigured in a different space because uh, we're going to have all of the same components, battery, charging system, all that stuff is just going to be uh, put together differently than it is right now. All right, so from here, I think we're good to get close to pulling this off. I gotta remove this one bracket because it's not going to make it past them. I think from here, we just gotta take these screws out that hold the frame down to these boards because they are bracketed to the base of the floor. I 
helps the helps to get all the screws out. All right, let's see if we can't get this slid out. You know, I think I had to push it in to get it out this last time. You can grab that other end. And just set it right over here. All right, so it is out. And then this is what we're left with. So um, I used the factory uh, bolts to attach a frame, which was screwed down um, to the uh, to the Jeep and uh, to keep everything secure. So we just got to pop these off and made some brackets out of some um, construction uh, ties. I just got them at Lowe's and Home Depot. So we'll get those off real quick. All right, so Jeep is nice enough um, to give you a toolkit that has all of your common parts on it. And so this is a, a T40 Torx, which fits into uh, those bolts. So you can use uh, the ratchet here, or you can just plug it into an impact like I'm getting ready to do, because it's easier. All right, so all that's left for here is just to uh, go ahead and clean everything up, and I'm gonna do that real fast, and then uh, we'll get a chance to take a look at it all clean.
All right, so we <clears throat> got everything cleaned out. So let's take a look at what we've got right now. All right, so this is the tub that comes in it. Uh, my JLU doesn't have a subwoofer, so that was good. Um, one thing I learned is always keep everything. Keep every bolt, every fastener. Anytime you take something apart, always keep the stuff because you never know when you want to put it back together. So these are the brackets for the Vector Off-Road Shelf, which we're going to put back in. And then you can see all the seat bolts. They're all where we are. So we have a nice, clean slate. So these are the wires, positive and ground, that are coming from the, the vehicle's battery. And we use those uh, to charge or to run to the DC to DC converter, which we'll be putting back in. So I think the goal is we'll build a platform here. The fridge will go on this side. We'll put both the seats back in and uh, then we'll decide how we want the platform to live. So the ARB compressor is designed to go there with the seat in place. So that's not going anywhere. Um, and I got to figure out something with the uh, GRMS radio and the CB radio. Uh, I may leave them right there and just figure out a way to put the power back. But so everything's nice and clean. Uh, we have all the fasteners that we need to put everything back together. And uh, I think the next uh, video, we're going to put the seats back in and then take a look at what the platform needs to look like and uh, how we want to try and put it together. So um, one more step done. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like, you know, where we're at and you want to keep following us, please subscribe, hit that like button, throw us a comment. And uh, it's funny, the Jeep is sitting a little bit higher in the back now. That we've taken all that weight out. I don't know if that uh, comes across well, but it's a it's a good two inches uh, taller uh, than it was uh, before we started this. I uh, I wish I had measured it uh, before just to kind of see you know how much weight we took out of it. But as you guys have seen with the previous video and with this video, we've taken a lot of stuff out of the back of the Jeep and. Um, so we'll see how everything looks uh, when we get the seats back in. So uh, we'll do that uh, in the next video. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is Dan from Fisher Deep Adventures, and we'll see you next time.